Good for you. Are you are you a Bengal fan? Is that what you are? For I was real? born and raised in the five one. Good for third, you. So, uh, this is yeah. like this is what yeah, man, this is this is it. Congratulations. You've I got have, you've got the I quarterback. By the, the way, by the way, let me just say this. Do you know how many people in the evaluation community and coaching community love Joe Burrow? When I say love, just like heart. Big old heart. I heart Bo Burrow. They love he he is a gamer. He has got Moxie. He has got it. He is awesome. I mean, he is self-made. He is the real deal, and he's yours. Congratulations. You should not feel bad yeah. about it at all, dude. So the reason I called in today is yes. you want to throw up the schedule? You want to do win-loss game? You want to do win-loss? Oh. Okay, let's do win-loss. Oh. Okay. Normally we don't do this during the regular season, but I will make the exception for you, sir. When was the last time the Bengals were the one seed in that week uh, entering week eight? I don't know. So I will I will make that exception. You want to give them NFL Films music and everything? All right, here we go. Let's put up the schedule. Here it is. You are currently 5-2. and two. You're at the Jets. Week 8, what do you got for me? Oh, that's a win. Okay, that's 6-2. and two. Home for Cleveland, who got Nick Chubb back on the practice field, FYI. No Baker yet, but home for Cleveland. In the jungle, give it to me. Okay, <laughs> give it to you. 7-2 and two in a bye week. Everybody's walking around, getting Skyline chili and Grater's <laughs> ice cream, hearing about how great they are. They're coming off the bye week 11 at the current two-seed Vegas. It's a it's a tough spot to be in. Let, let's let's give it a loss. Let's okay, give it a, give loss. It a loss. Seven and three. Team. Okay, home for Pittsburgh. Please. You Whoa! Please. <laughs> <laughs> My man is drunk That's on awesome. Bengal That's juice. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> eight, eight and three. Eight and three. Home for the Chargers. This is the team that just walked into Baltimore and got slapped around. We did the slapping. Us over the charge. Nine and three. Home for San Francisco. Based on what I saw last night, let's go. Ten and three. Denver at Denver. Ball. At Denver. Let's give another tricky loss. That one's in Denver in December. Okay. All right. You're just being nice. Eleven and four, right? What were we? Uh, Ten and four. Ten and four. Okay. Finish up strong. Home for Baltimore. Do you sweep them? Yes, we do. Eleven and four Ooh, versus Kansas City. Oh, man, give it to us. We're 12 home, and 4. Man. We're home. This is our time. At Cleveland. <laughs> at Cleveland. Let's finish it strong, man. We're better than them. 13 than and 4 wow. Cincinnati oh Bengals. Um, I'm now turned. Hold on a minute. Don't hang up on him I'm just yet. I'm now turning to the rest of the judges here. Can you? I'll go higher register because, you know. Can you argue with any of that? What do you think? I can argue with one Wh- thing. Which one are you going to argue with? That Broncos game. Come on. So you think they're going to be 14-3 and three by the end of the year? I mean, if my man's right, I just know that my, my fantasy quarterback, Joey Burrow, is going to go in there and throw uh, some dice. Right. I look saying. at you, Chris uh, if Brockley. you're If you're saying the line is 13 for the Bengals over under, I'm going to take under. 12-5, and five, a little more realistic. 12-5 and five might That's be enough actually, to win yeah, the division, though. That could though. win the division. That could win the division. 12 and 5 might win that division. Yeah. All right. Well, Brian, congratulations. Uh, you played the one loss game in the middle of October, which we rarely do. So thanks for thanks for calling in. Appreciate it. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.